Good morning and welcome back to the vlog guys. Oh man, today we have one heck of a day. So, little catch up. You guys didn't see the last vlog, it was awesome. We were out in Utah and Vegas, great times. Today though, how can I say this? National Geographic is actually coming and doing an article for a 2020 world publication about gun owners of America. I mean, I'm so excited about this. His name is Gabrielle. He flew in from Italy. Met him last night. But first, I got to go to the gym. I got to work out with Mike. I've been training him for four years. He's a retired vet. He got disabled. The motivation um, in my life that makes me smile so much. Michael. Nice job. Good workout today? Of course. But yeah. More. But more? Yes. So guys, this is Michael. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. We gotta get back to working out, right? Of course. Okay, let's do it. Just want to catch you up a little bit. This is called Sky Fitness. I opened this gym 10 years ago. This gym is named after my brother Skyler. Long story, ended up selling it two years ago. But, back to Mike. We are done working out for the day. And we're gonna say our bye. Say bye. Uh, bye. Handshake. Bam, 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 bam. Love you, brother. I love you too. Gabrielle is here. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on him if you guys can see him out in the yard. There he is. He's standing on my truck. I cannot tell you exactly what we are doing because that is part of the deal at National Geographic. But to give you a little preview, this is what the house looks like at the moment. Adam stopped by to say hi. Why are you so camera shy? Say hi. Yeah. Adam owns a company called Safe Solutions. So if anyone wants a custom walk-in safe or um, you know convert a room in their house with safe doors and storage, this is the man right here. We'll link a description and a tag below. So this entire room was filled with guns. Now it's empty. I can't show you what we're doing, but it's awesome. You're gonna have to wait until 2020 to actually see what's going on. We'll give you a little more snippets, but that's all you get for now. And that is a wrap. Big shout out to Gabrielle. He's the man right there. Awesome, awesome photographer. Thank you. We will uh, link his page in this. Assistant right there. And then Ben, uh, let me do this. There's Ben. Ben's taking some drone shots of what. I can't tell you of what. But anyhow, on that bombshell, we're gonna call it goodbye. And uh, from our friends in Italy, Let's say hello. Ciao. 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 hello. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. <laughs> awesome. See you later, guys. And with any exciting adventure, it had to end. I'm back in the office. Took out one of the savior cases because we're messing around with an idea right now that I want your opinion on. So, you might have seen the video on Instagram where me and Will gave Post Malone his very own custom guitar gun case. All right, sounds good. Cool, thanks. All right. Yep, bye. Bye. About a month ago, after his event in Atlanta, we were like, hey, you know, we know he's going to Europe. Post is going to Europe. When he gets back, we should do a cool little gift for him to say, you know, what a great job he did. So Ben and I and uh, his manager Bobby and Jay and Lewis kind of worked on something, and we came up with this idea to reach out to this company that makes guitar cases, but it's actually a gun case. So we reached out to them, we're like, hey, we want this gun case to do something special, and they're like, oh my god, absolutely. When we were backstage with Post, I was like, hey, have you seen this new gun that Sig came out with? And it's called the Copperhead. And he's like, no, I haven't seen it. And he's like, I really want it. I was like, all right, cool. I Oh my God, it would fit perfect in the case. So we reached out to Sig, we told them the idea, and they're like, absolutely. So then, reached out to a good friend of mine, Neil, and said, hey, Neil, what would go really good in this guitar case? A, a knife. So Neil's like, of course, I'm gonna make a one-of-one -one Damascus Samurai American version knife. So in the guitar case, it's gonna be laid out with a Sig Copperhead, this beautiful one-of-one -one Damascus blade that Neil made. And then when you fold the case over, Bobby, who's a good friend of mine, did all my tattoo work, Elite Ink, is going to be selecting three of his top artists and they're going to be hand drawing all logos that Post has done over the years that are part of his, you know, his brand. But I went a little step further. I know Post really likes Rolls Royces and one of the biggest features in Rolls Royces is the skylight feature. So when you're sitting in Rolls Royce and you turn these lights on, it looks like you're sitting under the stars. So what I did is I ordered a starlight kit and I'm going to be installing a starlight kit in the case. So when you open it up, the entire top of the case is gonna light with stars. But anyhow, we'll get to that in a second. The case right now is at my friend Bobby's shop. 
This is one of the coolest shops in Myrtle Beach. How many times do you ever see a life-size Deadpool? There he is. Tattooing away as always. Where's the Porsche going? The Porsche is going on the very back. Very back on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. Today's project, we have to get the Damascus blade inset in here, copperhead inset in here. Then the challenge is going to be to run all the fiber optics for the starlight kit up in there. Just had all these awesome plaques made. Bam. Put the top layer back in. Now what I'm doing is getting ready to set the plaque. Top layer is completely done. Onto the starlight kit. And I gotta get all these drilled in here. Okay, so this is what pretty much you gotta do right here. You gotta drill holes, individually put the fiber optic cable through each one. And this is how far we have gotten so far. The entire Starlight kit is done in the top of the case. So we're just testing it out a little bit. Everything is on. How cool is this? Last one. <laughs> now I just hope it works. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm cracking. That is, are you serious right now? Well guys, we are at the last step of the case in the build. The case is completely done. I'm so excited to show everybody this. There you go. So that is the top of the case. But wait, there's more. <laughs> How awesome is that? So next time you guys see this case, we'll be in a secret location in Las Vegas. This is for my friend Neil. He uh, he won Forge of Fire. He's a blacksmith, and he made a 101 Damascus blade for you. Wow! It's 201 folds. Uh, he made that in Hawaii in his forge in Hawaii. Uh, so it's supposed to replicate a samurai suicide suit sword with an American twist. They put um, a thicker tang on it for uh, like a Bowie American yeah. style. On it. Wow! Yeah. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. And then, this is awesome. But of course, the little fucking uh, copperhead. When we were talking last, <laughs> we told you about the copperhead. <clears throat> and there she is for you. Wow. This is pretty bitchy. Dude, it's like stupid tiny, too. It's so tiny. <laughs> this is bitchy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. But yeah, there's one more thing. Okay. So, I know you love your Rolls Royce. Okay. All right, so I want you to hit the on button. Okay. Hey now. <laughs> I put a Starlight kit <laughs> in top. This is bitchy, man. You guys should do top this. Top of the thing. case. Like a pimple guitar case. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Oh, Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks brother. This is awesome. Thanks, Thanks. Do you like it? 